Hello guys and welcome back. Today I want to share the books that I'm going to be reading in the month of July. I am finally getting out of my reading slump. I've been saying this for a few months now. I have been in a really bad reading slump but I have recently started a book that I loved last year that has helped me a lot and I'm excited to get back to reading and enjoying the books. So speaking of that book, the first book that I'm planning to read for the month of July is The Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell. This is the second book to The Last Magician which is the book that I am currently reading and loving it again. It's such a good story. It is set in New York and it is like an urban fantasy story and I'm excited to continue with the characters. Esta is one of my favorite characters. She is so good like if I was in this world I would want to be Esta. So I am looking forward to continuing the series and I will be listening to the audiobook as well because I love the audiobook for the first book, The Last Magician, and I'm hoping it's the same narrator and I am looking forward to it. The next book I hope to read in July is Better Together by Christine Riccio. This book has been marketed as the Parent Trap meets Freaky Friday and I just feel like it's gonna have like that rom-com vibe to it and i love these covers so in this story we follow two sisters who have been separated i don't know if they know of each other or they remember each other because their parents divorced when they were young so i'm not sure if they do know about each other but they haven't seen each other since their parents divorced and i believe one day they go to a camp where they meet each other and that's when like the whole freaky friday thing might happen so they switch places and one lives the life of the other. I am actually looking forward to this story and see what happens because I am intrigued. The next book I'm planning to read is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. By now, Taylor Jenkins Reid is one of my favorite authors. I will read everything that she comes out with. This book is somehow tied to her last two books, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and Daisy Jones and the Six. So far, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo has been my favorite book. This book is somehow tied to those stories because I believe they're all set in the same era, same time. And this book follows a group of brothers, but I don't know if the brothers are famous or their parents are famous or the whole family is famous or something. There's fame involved in this one as well. And there's a character that has come out in both Daisy Jones and the Seven Husbands who also shows up in this book and that's how we know that they're somehow related. They're just like in the same scope of the lens, you know, like the fame and some of the characters know the other characters and I think that is actually pretty smart. But I am expecting the same feeling vibe from the other two books. So like I said, this follows a group of brothers who throw a party in their house in Malibu and that same night there's a fire. That's the only thing I know about this book and this one just screams summer vibes everywhere so I am excited to read it. The next book I'm gonna pick up it's a book full of short stories by Gabriel Garcia Marquez and the title is All of the Short Stories by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. So it has a bunch of short stories that I want to get to and I'm probably gonna read a few short stories from this book out of the month. I'm not gonna read all of them of course. I'm just gonna I'm gonna read a few each month but I wanted to share with you guys because I really love Gabriel Garcia Marquez. I haven't read all of his books but one day I want to do that and I want to start with his short stories. And then I also have a few audiobooks that I plan to read. I don't have the physical copy because as you guys know, I love listening to audiobooks when I'm in my car, going to work or coming from work. That is like one of my favorite things to do in the morning on my commute to work is to listen to a book and I use script or my audible. So for next month, I'm planning to read Act Your Age, Eve Brown, and it is the third book to the Brown Sisters trilogy that Talia Hibber came out with. I read Take a Hint, Danny Brown like two months ago, and I really liked it, but so far I've heard that Act Your Age, Eve Brown is one of everyone's favorite book. I've heard that it's better than Get a Life, Chloe Brown, which I really liked that book as well. I, lo I liked both books, but I'm looking forward to reading this one and finishing the trilogy because they are so cute and 
full of smut but withstand smut in these channels and the last book i'm planning to read in july it's people we meet on vacation by emily henry and i've heard really good things about this story again it's a perfect summer vibe book that i'm looking forward to it i don't have the physical copy i'm just gonna get it on audible i believe because i don't know if script has it on their site but if they don't it's fine i think i have a couple of credits on audible and it's just gonna be a good summer book i haven't read beach read by her and i was actually thinking about reading that one first but i think i'm gonna actually read people we meet on vacation first and let me get shensi in but anyway <laughs> hi but anyways guys those are all the books that i'm planning to read in the month of july let me know if you guys have read any of those books and if you did if you guys enjoyed it that is all i have for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys soon bye